after all these uh, dramatic shocks and consecutive shocks that we experienced, now see countries and Georgia included are enjoying the period of more than expected deceleration of inflation, which is good. And also I would like to say that the contribution of uh, tightened monetary policy stance is huge. Uh, it is interesting to mention that uh, CE countries, uh, central banks and Georgian central bank, National Bank of Georgia included, uh, they showed more rapid reaction. And it is important to know that uh, cost of hesitation when it comes to the price stability and adequate monetary policy measures might be very high. And it is important that emerging markets, central banks showed uh, ability and capacity to react uh, before uh, many advanced economies, central banks reacted. And that's why we are able to uh, stabilize prices and to anchor inflation expectations earlier than many other advanced countries. Uh, so uh, does it mean that uh, economy became more responsive or that monetary policy was not that, mu that much effective before? Not necessarily. Uh, I think that this episode shows that Whenever it matters, uh, strong focus on the tightening of monetary policy stance, strong focus on the major uh, mandate of national banks, of central banks, might uh, stabilize macroeconomic situation uh, in a very limited time. While in the period where inflation uh, was low, and that was a period before uh, COVID pandemic, uh, with a subdued demand and uh, low inflation environment, central banks' monetary policy were most, mostly targeted to fine tune some inflationary environment, some inflationary episodes. And that was the period when our mandates have been a bit expanded. Uh, central banks started to address some other additional, uh, I would say, accommodative objectives like economic growth, financial stability, uh, green development, financial literacy, and many other functions. Again, uh, the recent development shows that uh, price stability uh, and uh, inflation, uh, let's say anchoring inflation expectations, remain our major goal, our major focus, and all other objectives should come after it uh, to the extent that they are not contradict with the main uh, mandate of uh, central banks. One may thought how, let's say, the problems uh, of uh, uh, medium-sized California-based bank might affect uh, financial stability in my country, Georgia. But indeed, we became very much interrelated. We became very much interrelated in terms of financial stability, but we indeed became very much interrelated. And it's good to, uh, to know that after financial crisis of 2008, countries uh, aligned the uh, supervisory policies, the supervisory mandates, uh, our financial system, I mean, in Georgia as well, in the CE region, is uh, very much prudent sound, especially in Georgia, our commercial banks built sufficient liquidity and capital buffers. Uh, the um, indicator and level of uh, non-performing loans is historically low, which is good. Uh, also, all of us are developing, including Georgia, Georgia National Bank, uh, resolution framework, crisis management frameworks, uh, some other additional supervisory measures and it is important indeed. Uh, one uh, more issue that uh, became like uh, that revealed that became more visible after this particular episode is that we still uh, lack, uh, let's say, some 
let's say, ability to proceed with the common actions. And we need to have more communication between different central banks worldwide. And this is something we need to work on. And events like that, your money event, uh, present an excellent platform for sharing of our uh, experiences. Uh, different practices and to come up with uh, like uh, um, well-proven solutions and uh, integrated solutions.